Thank you for having me again. <laughs> yes, sir. Good to see you. Really, really good to see you. I'm waiting on David because I know you guys are on the ball. You know, you are out in the field and David, David literally is just coming out of the constituency. So he's getting himself together and um, we'll be able to, to have him on um, in a moment. But Alex Mitchell, oh my goodness, it's so it's such an honor to have you on. It's been a long time, a really long time. Well, I, I I only show up by invitation only. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know that is loaded. You know that is loaded, Sonia. You know that is loaded, 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 loaded. Guys, please share, please share, and let people know that we're on. Now, um, you know Alex Mitchell. Alex Mitchell. Who is Alex Mitchell? That's a question for me, right? Um, yes. Who is Alex? <clears throat> Mitchell? You, you know, you're 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 putting the, yourself up there. You're at yeah. Saint Michael South. Yes, so that's Alex correct. Alex Mitchell is not just the founder of Bajan Free Party, um, but he's also a candidate for Saint Michael South. And um, I want just to t tell us about um, Alex Mitchell. Well, Alex Mitchell is a born Barbadian, regardless if people like to call me the American man and feel that, um, you know, that I'm an outsider or anything like that. I left Barbados in um, 1970, mm -hmm. and I've been traveling around the world with my family and the military. And in um, 2003, I was asked to help. And that's what I'm doing. And it expanded very big beyond my wildest imagination. So Alex Mitchell, just a guy, a man that loves um, justice, like fairness, love the truth, mm -hmm. um, doesn't like corruption, doesn't like conflict of interest. Mm -hmm. um, I exercise the things that I know to be true, freedom of information, free speech, transparency. And that's the way I conduct myself um, on the internet and in public because people don't understand how it is to be free mm -hmm. and and my old good friend um i learned from violet beckles she always say mr mitchell you cannot tell people what to say or speak out of their own mouth mm. and the only thing that i have to worry about which i don't have to worry about is make sure that the words that come out of my mouth are true mm -hmm. and and whether i heard it by rumor whether I lived it, whether it's first-hand, second-hand information, or whether it's facts, and that's what I speak. So therefore, a lot of things that I speak of may be unbelievable, but it's very, very true. Mm -hmm. And I challenge anyone, anytime, to anything that I say that I cannot produce what I'm speaking about. Mm -hmm. So to put myself out here in Barbados, where you hear a lot of different cuss words that you would normally you would not normally hear anywhere else about the things that I speak about. And I had to make sure that what I say resonate mm -hmm. and to the fact that people will go back and talk about what I say or what I claim. And then the older people will say, well, you know, he's right. And down, now it came to a point on emancipation day last year when I woke up and the universe was very, very quiet. I was not getting criticism. The people who unfriend me from Facebook for the things I post and say, um, send back their requests to come back in and I let them back in because they're free to go, they're free to come. So when we call ourselves the Beijing Free Party, that means that we are free. Mm -hmm. And in order for you to do anything, you have to have your free before you can determine what your freedom is mm -hmm. or even your sovereignty. So we have to be free. So, and if you want to be free to stay in slavery, or be part of slavery, that is also your choice or your choosing. Exactly. exactly. Right? So, um, and I also believe in freedom of the press and freedom of information. Mm -hmm. And I am an open book. And the only thing people have to worry about me about is the question that they ask. Mm -hmm. that when I give them the answer, do not get mad at me. Mm -hmm. And if your information is more credible than mine, I don't have a problem switching from what I got to mm -hmm. what you gave me right? because we are all seeking the truth mm -hmm. and the truth is more believable mm -hmm. than the last three years in Barbados with mm -hmm. all the news events combined. This yeah. is a very, very serious to the point now 
that Alex Mitchell have to look out for the entire country of Barbados because our lives are in danger. Mm -hmm. So in order to have a life, to have our lives, we must have our life. Mm -hmm. Our life is the number one concern in Barbados before I get into the corruption or anything else. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you know, um, I'm so glad I asked you that question up front, Alex, because we see you on Facebook, uh, we see you in social media, and you're such a warrior. And as as you're talking, I'm I'm saying, wow, hearing your background as a, being a soldier, um, I can a marine, a marine, marine, right? A marine is different than a soldier. A marine, right? Okay. And uh, you know, I, I could see exactly why you would take these kind of stance against corruption and you're you know very straight either black or white and that's when i think of alex mitchell that's what i think of i think of somebody who is you know stands firm on integrity a seeker of truth um you know um you you're just not again not with with anything that's unjust and and it reminds me of myself actually and i i could see what you know exactly why you're such seem like a soldier you don't like no you know, a marine but, but i am a marine i'm on marine. Marine. duty i'm always yeah. been on duty i'm always, always been on duty and we have integrity yes yes and I, and i and and we need that we need that especially in these times now let me ask you um um, um there's a question here from mr hoyt but we're going to get to this after and i'm going to ask everybody put, put your questions what do you want to know about mr uh, Mr. Mitchell is presenting himself as a representative for St. Michael's South. What do you want to ask him tonight? Right? Just ask, ask the question there. But before I, 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 I want to, so we can bring out a little more background about you. Um, why specifically um, did you get into politics? Why are you running? Why are you a candidate? Well, I, I am a candidate because I was asked to be a candidate. Mm. And by, this, by, by Violet Beckles in 2007. And, oh. we, and we waited to see what David Thompson would do with the situation. So I am keeping to tell what she told me to do, run Mr. Mitchell, run. Because all, all the truth that I've been speaking has been removed from either the archive, the land registry, the so National let's, Trust let's Book, and all there, of that. Mr. Mitchell, let's pause. Mm. So you said you were asked by Violet Beckles to run. Yes, yes. Um, in a nutshell, because uh, we don't want it to be about, you know, um, mm -hmm. uh, anything as what, you know, because you see, you have a campaign. Question. Right. Who, who is Violet uh, Mitchell? Is, is a relative of yours? Yes, she's a cousin of mine, which I didn't know until I came back to Barbados. And I did not know until I was helping her. And we both ran into the same cousins, which I didn't know because I was gone for so long. And she handed over. Um, the her things to me and the rest of the family mm -hmm. and left me as executor and trustee of the state and part owner mm -hmm. so i have to fight for this because of the corruption in barbados mm -hmm. makes things very hard on the people and mm -hmm. people think that it has nothing to do with them but it has everything to do with them mm -hmm. and as i'm so the thing is on the campaign trail i answer any question for about anything that you want you can ask me anything i will give you an answer Sometimes I bring copies of papers so you can see and read and explain everything. I'm not here to talk to people. If you want to answer, are you smart enough or are you intelligent or are you, you know, the, the only question that we say not ask is a dumb one. There's no stupid question that you can ask me. Mm -hmm. Every question right. has an answer and I have the answer for it that I will give mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. To make so, everything clear. So this question that's here from Mr. Hoyt. Welcome, um, Mr. Hoyt. Good to have you again, guys. Please share the live. Don't just sit and enjoy it, uh, you know. But but share it. And I, you know, it's a privilege to get the background of Mr. Mitchell, and we see why he is so, um, you know, he's so militant about his beliefs, and we realize that it's because of his background as a marine. Um, you know, and in the army, so it's it's good it's good to understand that. So, what what issues are you tackling when you you're talking about Saint Michael? You want to represent Saint Michael South. Good, and I'm gonna I'm I'm I'm, I'm, all, I'm only gonna talk about Saint Michael South. Yes, thank you. Good, Saint Michael South constituency is very important. Mm -hmm. It's made up of the Bay Plantation, 
which is 190 acres, which we have the 1930 D for it, for root title, to let everybody know who owns and who don't own, and all and whatever is open belongs to that deed, where we can have the land surveyor um, survey these spots and make sure that people get land in that area. Okay, so so which, which, hold which a minute. Is, so so you're saying that in St. Michael's South, yes. I just I want to make sure everybody understands because I'm telling you, this man is a man on a mission. Um, he's very focused, very focused, and we want tonight to be able to, to just unearth everything that he's standing for. What is it that, um, what are the issues that he's tackling? So you're saying in St. Michael's South, correct? Um, there is some, there is what is called the Bay Plantation. Yes, that's 190 acres that was sold to us in 1930 by the owner John Beckles. Okay, so let's hold a minute. So 190 acres um in the bay, the bay plantation was sold to violet beckles no to beatrice henry her aunt in 1930. to beatrice um henry okay Good. and yes continue Good. and st michael south is made up of two more plantations which is britain's hill plantation and and um bottles plantation Butters. which i bottle i mean sorry not bottles um bonnet's plantation and British Hill Plantation mm -hmm. was sold to Beatrice Henry in 1957, mm -hmm. 287 acres. Mm -hmm. So I have the root title deed for this entire constituency oh. where I want everyone to, to don't worry about anything. I want to make sure that the land you have, I will clear title it for you. The land that is a residue after 1930 I will then help you to get a, a, a house spot with a deed for that land, where then you can use that deed to get your own water, your own light, your own gas line to your house. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to use a gas bottle, where then now you can use your own land owner's permission once again mm -hmm. to go get an architect to design the piece of property that will, the, the house that you want, that will fit on that property once it's approved by town and country, it can be built either by you or by me because the first thing you need is land owner permission and a clear title deed. To okay. let every, well, hold on, there's one more thing. Mm -hmm. In the records, in the public records of Barbados, if you go to 1913 plantations on the internet and you Google Barbados, you will see a pink map of Barbados. Click the pink map and you will see that there's only 29 plantations that they put up that represent all of St. Michael. Mm -hmm. But here's the thing, there is no Britain's Hill and there is no bonnets. So why does the Barbados show any ownership or any records of Britain's Hill and bonnets plantation and I have the deed? That, that, and that's not the only plantation that's missing. There's about eight or nine plantations missing, but I'm not gonna go into that mm -hmm. from St. Michael's right so the, and that's why there are issues in building mm -hmm. and that's why this so alex alex hold a minute so let me let me try to uh, make sure i understand what you're saying because um you're saying you're running in st michael south Correct. because you have the title deed for the land for for, for, for all of st michael south because it consists um of of, of of i'm missing my notes here now but it's con it consists of three plantations correct that, yes that were were sold to, to relatives of of yours back in, in the 50s and and, and the and, 30s and the 30s okay correct. and you are running because you believe that what it's very important that people own their own homes correct and that they have title so deeds to correct. land which is important, especially in the city, right? All across Barbados, all across the world, because banks will not give you any loans. That's why even though this government won 30 and 0, right? Mm -hmm. they can, and, and there's more, and in 2018, there was more than $28 billion in the banks in Barbados. Mm -hmm. not, none of the 30 and 0 winners could get a loan from the government. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the government of today could not get any loans from the banks, so they had to go to the IMF and, the, um, and China, mm -hmm. right? Because they don't have clear title deed, because mm -hmm. 
when I came to Barbados, they say in order to have a clear title deed, mm -hmm. you must go back at least 70 years or till mm -hmm. the plantation deed. Mm -hmm. So we have we have over 200 plantations that we own mm -hmm. in Barbados, for going back from 1926 to 1969. Mm -hmm. But I'm only dealing with three, mm -hmm. right? I'm only dealing with three right now. Okay. So, okay. Good. Okay. So let's just um, summarize. So Mr. Mitchell. Um, Alex Mitchell is a candidate for St. Michael's South, and what what he is speaking about, um, the issue he's tackling, and what he's speaking about, Mr. Hoyt, on the campaign trail, is um, home ownership, owning land, um, which is very important because a lot of people in Barbados don't own their own home, and especially in the city. Um, this is very important. So if you're watching from St. Michael's South, this is important for you. Okay. Um, we have another question. Guys, remember, we want you to, this is a good time to ask Mr. Mitchell your question. So there's another question here from Mr. Hoyt. He says, we were supposed to have started a public consultation on the new constitution. Mr. Mm -hmm. Mitchell, what are some of the changes you wish to see? that will be in the best interest of Barbados and the citizens thereof? All rights will be in the Constitution if we are involved in the making of it. We already have an outline of the Constitution protecting all rights, not suppression of rights. The only You have your free, and with your free, you determine, you, you determine your freedom. You, you determine your freedom and with that freedom, you will then have your freedom of information, your freedom of speech, your freedom of the press, mm -hmm. and all those things. And the uh, the Constitution that we are dealing with, the Constitution... Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. the, the while, while we wait on that, yeah. I'm going to ask Mr. Roberts. I see David Roberts is here. Yes. And Mr. Roberts, if you can open your camera and your microphone. And remember that it's important to use um, Google Chrome if you can. Um, yes, I think I see something's happening there for him. All right, go. All right. Yes. Yes. So, so, so we have an outline for the Constitution that mm -hmm. that is not based on fear or threat of people on their rights. The the only time, the only time that you would have, the only time that you would have a trespass is if you put your hands on somebody. Mm -hmm. You understand? But besides that, you have your rights. You have your freedom of speech. But do not trespass. That's the first rule in law where all things start. When you study law, the first thing that you study is trespass against mm -hmm. the person, against the self, or whatever. Right? Mm -hmm. So the thing is, you have all your rights, whether it's United Nation rights, whether it's human rights, whether it's constitutional rights, whether it's God-given rights. All your rights are protected. We are the Bajan Free Party. We are not dealing with slavery. So mm -hmm. therefore... We don't want anything dealing with slavery in this constitution, mm -hmm. right? We don't want no three-fifths person, no none of that. Right. Okay. Well, well, thank you for your answer, um, Mr. Mitchell. So, apart from um, you know, um, um, home ownership and 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 land acquiring land, etc., mm -hmm. what else are you planning to do for St. Michael's South? Um, well, can well, we have? Very, and again, very, I'm going to ask people to ask your questions. Go ahead. Good. What we plan to do for St. Michael's South and the rest of Barbados, we have a plan with the amount of land that we have to build 44,100 homes, three bedrooms, two bath houses, nothing under 900 square feet with okay. clear title to land. I'm just giving you an example. I can take a deed to the bank. They can value, say the deed for St. Michael's South, but I wouldn't use that on St. Michael's South. I'll use another deed, maybe like Butler's Plantation deed. 1169 acres they will value that amount of land and then they will say this land is worth 40 million 50 million 100 million and we will take that money and we will build these houses and mm -hmm. then we will allow the people to own their homes in st michael south based upon the gdp or what their income is so if the basic income in barbados is only 250 dollars bring home well, we can't charge you two or three thousand dollars mortgage. We can do private mortgages. We don't have to depend on the bank. We can do a mortgage at two percent, one percent, zero percent, whatever it may be, without all these closing fees, and still give you a deed, but put a lien on it until you pay off that, and then you have it. 
if so you're, you're, you're 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 saying with the the, the land uh, all this land that you're saying you have the deed for mm -hmm. um your 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 plan is to be able to provide affordable homes affordable oh. housing yes and they're not they, they will not be government housing like i'm gonna guess veer off a little bit like in america if you want to have two people live in a room do it for a comfortable room with where you can breathe and don't get sick from the other person when they get sick. Mm -hmm. Each individual is supposed to have no less than or somewhere around 70 square feet of room per person. Mm -hmm. So if you do, so you may be looking at a most rooms, maybe 10 by 12 or 12 by 12. So if you say 12 by 12, that's 144 square feet where you only need 140 square feet so that we, we can have furniture in our rooms. We don't need to open a door and hit the bed with mm -hmm. the door or you can't have a nightstand or you can't bring in an extra dresser. These government houses in Barbados was also put here by Beatrice Henry with a co collaboration with the government. So most of the people that's in government housing across Barbados, even up to Bagatelle and wherever, all up in the pine, I am the one that has to sign that deed for them to get that home. No other person in Barbados, including the prime minister, the government general, or even NHC, or we could talk about that later, can sign this deed. The, the pen, I'm the only one with the pen that can, well, everything black so you can't see my pen. But I am the one with the pen that that, that needs to sign that deed. Me and Motley or anybody can sign a deed. Somebody listening to this, you know, um, listen to you, uh, Mr. Mitchell is saying, uh -huh. I mean, uh, what, what are you talking, I mean, do you have, you actually have these deeds? I have the, the well, after um, Beatrice Henry died, mm -hmm. Beatrice Henry left a will to Violet Beckles that was written by Frederick Smith, mm -hmm. who also had to call Miss Henry aunt. Mm -hmm. After she died, uh, Violet, Violet got probate, I believe, in June, June 6th or June 5th of 1986. Mm -hmm. After she got letters of administration, she took these 200 plus plantation deeds to Richard L. Cheltenham mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to ascend into her name. So since it's a lot of work, Violet Beckles waited six months and went back to Mr. Richard Cheltenham and asked him, how are you going with the ascent from the deeds from Beatrice Henry's name into Violet Beckles' name? Mm -hmm. Mr. Cheltenham told Violet Beckles that he cannot find these 200 plantation deeds. And he then all of a sudden now, he turns up with Carl Williams um, talking about um, moving land to please and all of a sudden, Violet Beckles' estate is in the hands of Kyle Williams, being purported all over the world that he's the biggest landowner in in um in Barbados. So so even where Mr. Um, Kyle Williams is supposed to live at Arthur C. Plantation, we bought that plantation in 1936 from a man called John A. Williams. C. O. Williams was only about four years old at the time. So the, the, so the information that they put out there is wrong, and that's why we can't get any, we can't get the um, $160 million to finish Four Seasons because we have the plantation deed for Black Rock for 1952. This is the reason that we can't get the $60 million for the city to divide up among the people in the city to give them $20,000 a piece to fix their home to get that $60 million from the IDB. This is the reason we cannot get the $40 million for Walker's plantation that we have, that we own 1,400 acres to build a water dam because they keep saying that Barbados is a water scarce country to get that $40 million from um, Canada and the money that I'm talking about. This is the reason that the Hyatt cannot be built because I already contacted Hyatt that if they don't make sure that they have a clear title deed and they do build it on the land that they have down there on Bay Street, that I will claim it. I contacted Hyatt. So every election, the most powerful man in Barbados was Fundal Stewart, and he tried to use the building of Hyatt to get votes, and it's not there. Three or four years later, me and Motley still cannot start Hyatt with MAM, and MAM cannot get together, even though they took Ms. Ram's property and put up Hyatt because they have to get by me. So the thing is, I have the root title deed. Everything comes off the root title. You understand me? And, and, and even in America, when I buy real estate, because I did real estate in America, a lot of the um, properties in America goes back to 1913 to have a clear title deed, meaning that there's no judgment, there's no lien, 
There, there's no queries about it. There's nothing. So everything has to be clear because one of the things we don't have in Barbados is title insurance. With all of the fraud in Barbados with real estate, no, no um, title company can survive because 90% of the property in Barbados involved in fraud. Mm -hmm. So even, even if I say this, national housing is another missing um, plantation deed that's off the records that you can't find anywhere, and that is called the garden plantation. The garden plantation and every plantation in Barbados comes from Great House. The Great House was knocked down on Country Road, and then what did they do? They built NHC right where the, the Great House was, and the pictures is inside NHC, mm -hmm. right? And there's no record for that, and that's 440 acres that we also bought. So the thing is, how can you have property? That's like saying, America is 50 states, but when I Google, I only find 35. What happened to the other 15? Well, you know, you know, this is, I'm listening to you and, you know, it, it's really, this is, I, I, I make films and it seems to sound like a movie. <laughs> Please make it. Please make it. I have a lot of documents and a lot of names involved in it because there are very, there are many wealthy families in Barbados. The Griffith right, so family, the place, Rouse, um, and all really, of them. You know, hold a minute. There, there was a, there was a case where, and I somehow I'm trying to remember it, um, that was only a couple months ago where there was an English woman who actually won a case here in Barbados yes. um, where she got back all the land. So, um, you know, somebody listening to you might say, that seemed a little far-fetched, um, you know, um, Alex. Do you mm. remember that case? I we were only yes. discussing it. Yes, I, 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 um, I forgot about. I, I forgot which land it was, but it was a lot of land, and um, the the government had to, um, you know, what was we had to pay, and pay a lot of money. And this was plantations that the, um, you know, the government of Barbados that they they took from her, and so it it is uh, okay. All right, it's in the Sunday sun, guys, because okay, oh, uh, hold, uh, hold let, it up again, hold it up, please. US a 260 million dollars judgment, um, for this woman. So, so okay, and and, and 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 I'm gonna show you right here. If you give me two seconds, I will go into the newspaper and it, it says that right here, if you can see it on page 4a. And I'm gonna guess read the short part of it if you give me a second. Yes. It says Kathleen Davis and others, a state of um, of Dean, the plaintiffs, ownership of one seventh of the shares of Kingston Estate Limited, a Barbados company, a Barbados corporation with land holdings and business holdings that was at one time valued at one billion US dollars witness testimony and documentation considered by the jury including evidence of showing threats harassment and and violence against the knox family members and their witnesses fraud fabrication of evidence obstruction of justice bribery of police and other corrupt activities by business businesses lawyers politicians government officials police and other others including judicial officials also in four other countries with the purpose to steal defraud deny the plaintiffs of their proper value of their shares the jury, wait, hold on, wait, 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 wait. i got two more sentences the jury also heard evidence that some of the stolen funds were transferred and money laundered internationally between the UK and Barbados and other offshore havens. I will stop there. But that was in the the Sunday Sun. Put up the put it up again for me because uh, October uh, October twenty fourth, mm -hmm. twenty twenty one. Wow, twenty twenty one. So that's a couple months ago, and somebody here is saying Curtis Dale. He's saying a lady that lady won a case in Florida a few months ago. That's the same case. And he went on to say, Curtis is saying that the judge in that case exposed the corruption in Barbados. Good. So, Hold on. Now watch. This is Violet Beckles. My land, 200 sites. Okay. And this newspaper is from November, Friday, November 12, 2004. Right? Mm -hmm. And before that month, in October, 
it says, by deed alone, the high court moved against land fraud. They only said it on the paper, but they never moved against land fraud because the, the key person involved in that was the attorney general back in 1997. That was David Simmons, who then became chief justice, who then backed up the whole system by keep putting it back, putting it back. So, you know, like I said, when I go out on the street and people want to ask or challenge me, it doesn't matter. Please ask the question. Please ask the question. Mm -hmm. Well, so, thank you for that clarity. Thank you for that clarity, um, um, Alex. Um, there's a question here from Mr. Hoyt. It's saying, will the homes in St. Michael South that you're planning to build, if you're just watching, this is Alex Mitchell, and he is a candidate for St. Michael South. And um, one of the things that he's thinking of, that he wants to do is to provide um, homes you know, low, low, um, low, low income for low, low residents. Low, low income houses, but the houses are not low income. They'll so be able right. to withstand. The, yeah. they, they, they will be able to withstand earthquakes above 5.0 and hurricanes of 5.0 or higher, depending on the roof. If you have a, a cement or concrete roof, you could go up to a possibly 160 miles an hour wind. If you want the conventional roof, you may be able to go up to maybe 120, 140, depending on where it's located when the winds come. Mm -hmm. Because because you cannot have an economy if everybody is sick or dead. You must be alive. Mm -hmm. So, and the houses, the houses will be regular houses. You won't be able to drive by and say, oh, that's a shanty, oh, that's a squatter in a wood house, or oh, that's a government housing, or oh, that's an NHC. Nobody can point because it'll be a regular house. Mm -hmm. Right, and we want. Let me ask you something: Will there be single units or multi-story, uh, Mr. Mitchell? Well, in the low low-lying areas, we will have upstairs and downstairs in case of flooding. On the higher levels, maybe bring and on bottom. They can have upstairs, downstairs, or townhouses. It's whatever they want. I'm not going to be living in them. They're going to be living in them. We will have different. Um, any designer can bring me whatever designs they want, and the mm -hmm. people can pick the design that they want to live in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is not government house. This is regular housing for people. And the reason we want to start off with a three bedroom, two bathroom, because if we, if we start it um, small, families grow. So if you already got a head start, they don't have to go and get loans and build, build one one time. Mm -hmm. And then you have three bedroom and you're done. Mm -hmm. Right. So so we, we have to take care of the most needed, needed women with children, families that are struggling. We're not trying to kill anybody. Because we built 44,100 homes across Barbados, and I only collect $500 a month rent or mortgage or whatever it may come out to be. Mm -hmm. I, can only, I, I only need one belly full, money piling up in the bank. And let me be clear. Let me be very, very clear. All right? This plan that I'm talking about was developed back in the days, because Beatrice Henry was born in 1892, she mm -hmm. died December 13th, 1985, at the age of 93. Violet Beckles was born in 1918, and she died August 23rd, 2010. The plan she got was from her aunt, which already started it before she died. Mm -hmm. What I'm talking about also came from Violet Beckles. Wow. I, take my, I take my orders from the dead. Everyone that interfered or got into my way of these two great women, heroes of Barbados, right, has either passed away or something has happened to them, but I'm not going to say, okay? But what I'm saying is I do not want these two people to call me to the grave until my mission is over. Mm. I am a United States Marine gunnery sergeant for 20 years. I have never failed a mission yet. I will stay on the mission until I'm dead. Mm. By the time we are done, we want... St. Michael South to be the proof. So that is why, even though they say that, do you have a uh, manifesto? Manifestos don't work in Barbados. Nothing that was that they talk in their manifestos has not yet manifested. So therefore, we have the word on top of our so-called manifesto called an affidavit. The affidavit is the highest form of law. And the only way that this affidavit cannot be carried out is if we get in the house whether we get one seat, two seat, we will put this proposal out and for it to be voted down by the BLP, the DLP, the UPP, um, PDP, or whoever, all right? Because our coalition 
the other parties that agrees with me whether we are together in spirit or in law ag agrees that something has to be done mm -hmm. so the thing is when you when i hear a problem i don't want to hear the nagging anymore i know the problem we work on a solution for that problem mm -hmm. and then we execute until we complete the mission mm -hmm. so the thing is if i have the opportunity and the rest of my Beijing Free supporters and our other coalition, we will start those houses because people need to invest. All right? People need to invest in what I am saying in order to get a return. That's yeah. it. So okay. so hold a minute. So you you um in, in order to build these um these these homes you are you are depending on people to invest or is it no 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 the only all the all they're investing is they trust in me, Bidja Free Party, and our coalition. That's it. That's the investment. I mean, if you're going to take money for a vote, take the money, but still vote for us. Because all they're going to do is pass something to take the money back after election. Mm -hmm. Let's take the money. It's your money that they took from your pockets. Okay? So you're, you're in, 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 I want to make sure that this is clear. So you're, because, you know, someone hearing you talking that you're going to build 44,100 um, um, homes. Are Good. Going to be built right um, but we, we will, so we will so where you're going to get the money from so you're going to use well, the title deed from one one plantation to one plantation to let the bank hold it yes and somebody else might ask a question because it was going in my head but you answered it why are you doing this and uh, and and you you're saying that this is something that was started by beatrice henry and and then carried out by violet beckles and, and carried out by me now, 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 here it is, here it is. On the debate for St. George North, they asked me that question before they start freezing the button and killing my microphone. And um, they asked me what is the most pressing issue in Barbados right now, and I said housing. I did not know that from anybody's information. I knew it from my own private information. Mm -hmm. After I did the election, about two months after, a document showed up, which I believe was called a green paper, to show that in back in 1999, um, the Attorney General at the time was David Simmons, and the Green Paper said housing. So they knew from since 1999 that the number one issue concerning Barbados before Corona was housing, and they made sure that they did not complete what the Green Paper said for them to do. So it's like you wanted to be a baker, and I said you need pans, butter, milk, and everything. I got the report and then I make sure that you don't get those elements, that you don't get those elements. But what we will do is have you squatting. We'll have you renting. We'll have you in UDC housing. You have you in NAC housing. Most of, and that's why they came up with the VAT. VAT came out in 1997 to move people from land rent to land ownership. And that process was only supposed to last for 18 months. It's been over 24 years. Where is 15% VAT at 24 years gone? So between 1997 and now, land was selling for about $7.50 a square foot. Then it went up to 15, then it went up to 20, then 25, then 30, and some places it's 60. So now the people now have lost anywhere between 100 and $150,000 in home equity value. You cannot get rich by just working nine to five and paying your bills. You must own land. Every person that knows you, that you know that has money, have land. So I want the people of Barbados to have their land because right now the lawyers and the ministers are stealing the land from the people and sell overseas by these real estate agencies in Barbados. I'm not going to get into that unless you want to do a show and I could put it straight. But we want to show people because when we ran, I ran in St. Michael's South in 2013. They called me all kinds of names and this and that. We ran again in 2018 and they, and they said, well, you're not going to win this time. Maybe next time we're going to give this um, person that's there now a chance. But if not, we're going to get you next time. And I said, okay. And what I told him was in 2013, take a picture of your neighborhood and come back in 2018 and it looked the same. I said, good. Now in 2018, take a picture of your neighborhood and it looked the same. So you don't have any change. Because when I was talking to people, 
Do you want change or swap? They would say, we want swap. Okay, you got swap. How do you feel? Do you want change? Do you want the truth? Because only title deeds can take money out of a bank, which now after a few years, you get equity or, or you retire, you can sell that property for one well, $200,000 more. You can use it for education. You can use it to expand your house and put on a rental unit. You can buy a new taxi, a new truck, a new bus. You can send your children to school. You can go on vacation. You can use it for retirement. That's what real estate brings you. I don't want anybody to run out. I understand and we know and we love the people of Barbados. I pull myself up from America with my real estate and my family, okay? And I come down here to live in these conditions because I understand how the world works. So when I heard that China and Russia, and Russia closed their, their borders with China, I said to myself, let me look for a ticket, and I entered into Barbados again, um, planned that way from January 13th, January 13th, 2012, and I've been here ever since. I did not leave. This is the longest I have ever stayed in one location in the last 40 years. Wow. You understand wow. me? Wow. So, so by me having this experience and being here, because Benjamin was saying, well, you was up in America living your life while we was in this pain and suffering. Well, I'm here in it with you. And I want to make sure, based on the information that I have, that you stay alive. So before the present issue of the houses right now, the present issue is your life. You have to live. So, um, so Alex, Alex, let me ask you something. You know, what, I know you're following Beatrice Henry and Violet Beckers. What, did they build homes for for low those with low income? Did, did they do, did, as, what, yes, as, as did far, they, as far, history of that? yes, go to any government housing. Whether it's the Pine, whether it's Bagatelle, wherever you see government housing, that's Beatrice Henry. Remember, as far as I could find, and I would welcome any historian to um, give me additional information, but in 1966, when we got independence, the only thing that I can find, because they corrupted the records, is that the government of England handed over the government house, government building on Bay Street. So the question is, if based upon Dugan sitting in the House of Assembly saying that the Barbados government has $3.6 billion in assets, how did they come in possession of all of these properties? Where are the title deeds? And with all these um, land transactions all through Barbados and different plantations allegedly owned by Carl Williams, where are these deeds recorded? So, where so is it for public it, record? Take it easy, take it easy, Alex, because I want to, our listeners to understand what your motivation is for running for St. Michael South and what you intend to do. So you are saying that Beatrice Henry, who's a relative of yours, they, that she started building homes for those, um, you, you know, Barbadians with low income, right? With, they, in collaboration with the government of the day. In collaboration with the government of Barbados. So now we understand that. And then after she passed, Violet Beckles, Yes. Um, another relative continued. This. Yes, yes, tried to until she was interrupted by Richard Chellingham. Yes. So she tried to, but she did to. Okay, so she tried to. So she didn't get to. She she didn't get to work. Oh, on that oh, good on that massive scale, but privately she fixed up what she had and mm -hmm. and tried to rent those out, and lawyers eventually stole those from her bit by bit with exactly. fraudulent paper. And, and now and now um now she's asked you. Yes. Um, to run. She's asked yes. you to run. She, she asked me to run. She said, run, Mr. Mitchell, run. You will get in. Just keep running until you get in. And then when we use St. Michael South as a project and the others of our um, coalition, um, coalition parties, we will start in those areas effective immediately mm -hmm. because then the government would have to prove us by their records that we are incorrect. So we did the same thing that the archives did. Mm -hmm. We used wills, um, historical archivable documents, information, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds of things, the same thing they use. Mm -hmm. And we have all this information. So the thing is, I, and I welcome anybody in law in Barbados to challenge me, challenge me on what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Nothing worse than a challenge. Well, you have a question here. You have a question mm -hmm. here. 
Um, and I'm so sorry I'm not going to get, um, it doesn't oh. seem that Mr. Roberts is getting on tonight, who is also from your party. Um, the question is, why did the PM claim that Hyatt will start this year in the half I understand the question. The, the same reason why Fundo Store said it will start for him to get votes. Mia said it will start. Everything will start right before votes. And by the time you're done, none of the people in your constituency and most of the people in Barbados don't even get the jobs or the work to build that. It's all outside contractors from the major contractors in Barbados. And all we get is the little, little work. We, good. And even after they finish building, they always seem to bring in people through the immigration department to do the work. And you can't even find people that look like you to give Barbadian or Bajan hospitality to the tourists. Mm -hmm. Right? So nobody is stopping, you know, 30 and oh, what you didn't have to wait now. You could have built it a year um, in 1918, I mean 2018, uh, and Fundal Store could have built it too, but he can get it off the ground. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Because if you want inter international support, you have to prove clear title deed. That's why Four Seasons can't move. That was a Ponzi scheme. The government, Clico, most of the unions in Barbados, they're all running a Ponzi. If you look for, if you look at their possessions, and you do a clear title, you will see that most of their possessions, or what they call their, um, uh, what they own, is in, in relation to land and real estate, don't belong to them. Okay. We have, they have to get past me in order to say they got clear title. You understand what I'm saying to you? Mm -hmm. I am, I am ha at least half of Barbados walking archives that was removed. You can't even- We have a question here. We have a question here. Mm -hmm. And I, I think it's important, you know, I, I, my, my belief is to give everybody their time and to let them express themselves. And Good. because I learned, honestly, Mr. Mitchell, I learned so much about you today, uh, this evening. I wanted, I, I learned what's your motivation, what's behind mm -hmm. what you do because you seem to be so, you know, um, you're focused on, on this all the time. Everything you post okay. is about this. It's a you know. I, so, um, Stella, um, I love you. I love, I, 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 Stella, I love you and I welcome the question. Keep it coming. You wanna <laughs> ask the question or you guys want me to answer it? It's, it's, she says, um, right, why did, why did you really decide to run for politics? Uh, she probably yeah. came on a little late. Is it to okay. No, 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 no. Okay, I can answer her question because she's here. The, 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 the real reason why I decided to run because I went to the, the prime ministers, many of them, including Mia Motley while she was Attorney General, David Simmons in 1997, Mia Motley in 2001 with um, Owen Arthur. We went to, um, uh, what's his name? David Thompson before he passed away. He put the frost squad on it with Station Sergeant White. We gave all the information. Once the news got out, they started news blocking wherever I went. I try to get the information out in Guyana, St. Vincent, Jamaica, New York, England, and none of the news will carry it or even investigate it or look into it because we will know about that later. I'm not going to get to that part right now, but they're all connected to the media to block it. Okay? So, so when I saw the opportunity to run, and in the Constitution of Barbados, we allowed political free speech. We allow freedom of information and we can say what we need to say on the campaign trail. So for $250, I cannot beat the coverage that I get for $250 instead of putting a small article in the newspaper and my money is gone. So now I can bypass all of their corruption. I'm using the constitution of Barbados to bring it to the people. And, and this is a bigger platform where they cannot interfere with me, even though they try many times. And I can even explain that. I cannot see you, Marcia. Are you still there? I don't know if you all can still hear me or not. So, so if anybody can still hear me, I'm running for the people, for them to get their housing where they can have some type of future for their families. 
All right. I cannot live on every piece of land or every house in Barbados. It cannot happen. All right. I am here to do their work, which is my work, because I also um, dealt with real estate in America, where I also had housing for the people up there that I rent. So I've been involved in real estate from 1986. Okay, that's how I got involved in real estate in America. So I know the, um, the ropes, so to say, of real estate and value for everybody. Um, so this is the only way to get it done. It was supposed to happen under the UDC. It did not happen under the UDC because the VAT money disappeared. And most of the politicians felt that the amount of money that was supposed to go to Violet Beckles was too much for a black woman. And they figured that they can do, um, they can use the money and land better to serve themselves versus the people of Barbados. They do not want you to own anything. They just want you to be squatters, ranchers, UDC, and NAC. And they'll put you up in block housing while foreigners can come to Barbados and have two or three or 10 acres of land. And we all crammed up like project buildings in America. And they can't build the buildings too high and you cannot lift too high because the fire trucks cannot reach that high. So we don't want people dying. When I grew up in Barbados, I used to run through the front door with my bare feet and run through the back door with my bare feet. Mm -hmm. I did not fly down to the third floor or fifth floor or all these steps. Cause we have to deal with the land. We have to grow our food from the land. Everything that we need comes from the land. Cause we do not walk on water, right? So when it comes nighttime, we need a place that we can stop mm -hmm. where nobody cannot move us. Mm -hmm. they well, move us. Hold a second. There's another question, and we we only have um, we ooh, we we only have another five minutes. Um, so there's a question. I want you to give me a short answer to this particular question, mm -hmm. um, Alex, and then I want you to just tell me a little bit more about the other parties that the other candidates that are running. All right. So it's asking you to um, has any government official or agency or anyone like lawyers, um, et cetera, publicly disputed your claims? Any no, no, no. I, I, um, like I said, in August, August 9th of 2009, a letter came to Violet Beckel's house and Station Sergeant Mark White of the Barbados Fraud Squad showed up. She called me because I was living in St. James at the time. And on the 10th, the next day, we went to District A police station for the last three weeks, giving information. So the police right now, the fraud squad, have over between 15 and 20 pounds of documentation. Mm -hmm. I signed a 22 page statement of fact of findings, which is all recorded on 22 pages. Violet Beckel signed a 18 page complaint against Channel Ham, Cow and the others, right? Or whoever she said at that particular time of what happened and who did what to her. 40 pages. Station Sergeant Mark White said that the investigation would take five years. Five years from 2009, well, we way past that. And they will not go after the perpetrators and stop this fraud. So this started under the BLP and it was covered up by the DLP. And that's what they're doing right now. That's why I call them the BBDLP government, all right? Mm -hmm. There are many thousandaires and millionaires in Barbados and right now, I would just say that there is a political leader right now who is involved in another dirty land fraud scam. I will not talk about it because I'm waiting on it and I don't have permission to talk about it until I have facts, mm -hmm. right? But I know who they are. So what I'm saying is that the Ponzi never ended and the biggest industry in Barbados for tourism is pulling in the tourists and robbing them. Because before I knew anything about this, mm -hmm. I got involved in it. My mother sold two houses in Florida came to Barbados and she also got robbed. She went back to Florida and got additional property to continue her life. Mm -hmm. So three of my family members was robbed before we even knew that the Barbados government and Clico and many businesses in Barbados is running a Ponzi. All Ponzi's collapsed about 30 years after. That's why you see Madoff and Stanford. So that's why I said that what we're gonna do, once we get in is run a a audit on all government departments. The, under the BLP, they allegedly um, removed $400 million that we can't find. Then the DLP came in 
and they allegedly took about 397 million, three million less. But then there's still another 200 million that's accounted for based on the report. So now you got this one billion, boom, nobody's paid it back. That came probably from the VAT that was supposed to go to the real estate. You know, because of time, I, you know, you have to come back. We have to get you back. Lord, I got, Lord, I got an invite. Yeah. Lord, you invite me. Lord, you give me an invite. I'm showing up. I don't go where I'm not welcome. No, no let me let me ask you in the in this few minutes that we have two minutes. I want to ask you, um, Mr. Mitchell, tell us uh, uh, um, about how many how many candidates do you have in Bar in Bajan Free Party? Right now, including myself, we have four because mm -hmm. of the short time and a lot of people spent most of their money and they didn't have the 250 to pay. We have three members overseas with the short period. They did not have time to get a plane okay. ticket and, and get through quarantine to get the nomination the following Monday. Mm -hmm. All right. So, so this election is not fair for the public of Barbados to prepare themselves to participate in mm -hmm. any matter. So where we have, we, so we have, have we, we, where, okay. where is at Michael South? Where are the other three? Good, good. Yeah. We have, we have Alex Mitchell, me in St. Michael South. Mm -hmm. We have David Roberts in St. Michael West Central. We have Roy Turney in St. Michael Northeast. Mm -hmm. We have Jeanette Eiffel in Christchurch East Central. And then we have um, um, Solutions Barbados. We have um, the the other parts of that, which is the uh, Barbados Sovereignty mm -hmm. um, Party. So th these four parties, with uh, Mr. Scantleberry, these four parties mm -hmm. that is making up another coalition. The other one is calling himself the Alliance. So we don't want to get any confusion. Mm -hmm. This coalition, a coalition, yes. But this coalition, these are the five parties. We are working together for the benefit of Barbados. But so. You know, I may say things that they will not say, mm -hmm. and they will say things that I will not disagree with because mm -hmm. I agree with everything they're saying, but I'm the person that is in charge of this. So if they vote for this coalition, we will start housing almost immediately. Right. Hopefully, you're, saying you're, you're in charge of the housing because that is... Uh, yes. and, we, and we already have an engineer in Mr. Granville Phillips, so he will be able to assure Mm -hmm. The same thing that he offered in St. Michael and um, St. George North, he can make sure that these houses can withstand the hurricanes that I'm talking about mm -hmm. and the earthquakes that I'm talking about with the system that we plan on use. So we have a full team that is ready to go mm -hmm. because we oh. cannot obstruct the people. Right. So you are, you are, as Princess Stella put it, and that's what I learned tonight to Princess Stella, that this man is on a mission to resurrect the dream of... Beatrice Henry and Violet Beckles and, and Violet Beckles and they work together with the government to provide low-income housing but now we're not doing low-income housing we're doing housing. housing we don't want nobody pointing at your house and say this and that right we, it's gonna be a regular house there, there may be four or five different designs that you can pick from that we will build and then you, you I, as far as I'm concerned nobody's gonna pay more than $750 a month Mm -hmm. for a mortgage or rent mm -hmm. for a three bedroom, two bath wall house with gas and electric running. So St. Michael South will be the, the ideal place and the rest of our coalition. And all we can say is if we win this election or we get enough seats to do what we need to do and we can do a full order so we can do correct our records and let it be known public to the banking community, please, the other the other constituencies that did not vote for this coalition please do not try to move in because we already know who lived there we don't want all of barbados mm -hmm. jumping into our coalition neighborhood trying to get a free housing right all right but if we are the government we can do these forty-four thousand houses at one time mm -hmm. that means but that the, 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 someone said here where would you get the money from so we went through that already Stella, he's going to use the deed he's saying from the other um plantations as collateral build, to secure yeah. to secure the building and yeah. plus and plus remember the VAT money is still there that they keep taking because once everybody gets a deed for their property guess what happens to the VAT it disappears no 15 percent VAT because that was the arrangement and agreement in 1997. Okay. the two percent needs to go the two percent needs to go because the garbage trucks is already on the road 
Yes. But it's still there. So he has deeds, as um, Wayne Hoyt is saying, he, um, he has deeds that could get him loans from the bank. And as um, someone pointed out, you have been saying this for a, time, for a while, and nobody has publicly be, 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 because Because they can't. That's right. That's right. Okay. But listen, thank you so much for coming, and I wish you all the very best, along with um, everybody else in the Bajan Free Party and the coalition. We wish you all the very best, and this is the place for you. Guys, this is the place for um, all of our third party um, um, uh, um, candidates. This is where you can come and you know share your thoughts, share what is it, what's on your heart, what do you plan to do. This is where, and, and we're so happy to have had you, uh, Mr. Mitchell, and God bless you. See you next time. Thank you.